volts. 10 mil. Bollocks. Guys, this is the episode we've all been waiting for. We've got all the bits now that we need to finish the engine off. Uh, we've got the S55 oil pump, the second drawer oil pump, the pickup, the sump. Uh, we've got all of the bottom end bearings, all the bottom end bolts. So it's just a case of bolting it all back together. Um, I'm going to show you how we check for clearances on the bottom end. Uh, I'm going to show you how that we do the, AR, the difference between the ARP bolts and the standard bolts. I'm also going to show you the difference between the standard oil pump setup on the standard uh, M135 engine. Uh, in comparison to the M2, M4, M3 uh, oil pump setup. Um, so we're going to go through all that a little, in a little while, but first of all, uh, let's get started on the bottom end. Right, so the first part, when doing bottom end bearings, uh, we're going to do basically a dry build on the bearings to find out what the clearance is, and we use plastic gauge uh, for those of you who have not used it before, that is a little strip of wax and then what you do is you bolt that between the bearing and the crank and how far that spreads is your clearance and you measure that using this gauge here. So if our clearance needs to be 0.05 then the squished piece of plastic gauge needs to be around that size you'll see better in a minute so you've got your little strip of plastic gauge on there and then what we'll do is we will bolt the other half of the big end cap down over the top of that it's just as important to make sure that these still go the same way around even when we're doing this otherwise you won't get the right reading so we'll put that down there that'll be gripping it slightly and then we'll get the new bolts that we're going to be using and we'll torque them to spec and then however far that's squashed will be our clearance so the ARP recommendation is to torque these to 36 foot pounds so we've got the torque wrench set to 36 foot pound and it also recommends that we use the ARP grease on the head of the bolt and on the threads so we'll do that now So we've got the bolts in, uh, we've got the grease on them, we've got the plastic gauge in there. So all that's left to do now is just torque them up. So the ARP bolts, they're a 10mm multi-hex. Multi-hex, 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 multi-hex. 10mm. Bollocks. Got one. Bang on 36 there. And we'll crack them off again. So, if we check the, the area that's been squished, try and get a good angle at that. So we've it's too, too small for that one. So we go to the next size up and it's bang on there. So it's 0.063 millimeters, the clearance on that. So we're happy with that clearance then. So <clears throat> all we've got to do now is just to, to complete this, what, this big end off is we're going to clean up Oh, I've already cleaned up all the plastic gauge off there, you've got to make sure it's all gone uh, and then ready for some lube.
So that's all the clearances. Uh, they're all pretty much exactly the same on the plastic gauge. Now it's worth noting that these, <coughs> whilst these clearances are good, um, the plastic gauge is no replacement for um, checking your clearances with precision equipment. Um, but in this case, we're, we've not had any signs that we've got any issues with clearance. Um, so we're, we're literally just changing the bearings as a preventative thing. Um, the If it was a bottom end failure, then obviously you'd have to go into more detail with, with checking it with the micrometers and stuff. But just to check that the new bearings that we're putting in are okay and not gambling it, um, this, is, this is perfectly fine. Um, so yeah, pretty happy with that. Uh, we'll get on with the, the other stuff now. So these are the bits that we've all been waiting for. So we've got the oil pump, the secondary oil pump and the oil pickup. And all down here, we have the sump. Uh, so I'll go through everything with you. So we'll start by comparing the two oil pumps. So not a lot of difference between these two. At first glance, you would assume that they're both exactly the same. Uh, the only difference that I can spot is this has an extra bracket on it which is for the secondary oil pump and it also if you look on this part there that's blanked off and then we go on to the other one and it's got a little a little spline for the, for the shaft for the secondary oil pump and that, as far as I can see, is the only differences between the two. Obviously, that one's a lot cleaner than this one. Then we've got the secondary oil pump, which this, this shaft goes into that little bit that I've just shown you. And that sucks up oil from the front half of the engine. It's also got a steady supply back as well. So you've got two pickups there. And then you've got a, a sort of overflow on the, on the other end of it. So this part is completely unique to the S55. You wouldn't, you wouldn't see this on the N55. You'll see how this all goes together in a minute. Uh, this, is, at first glance, again, you'd think that it was the same as the other oil pickup, uh, which I have, let me just grab it. So there's the other oil pickup. Uh, only difference I can spot is this part here is slightly larger. And the reason for that is it creates a nice seal around there. So if you, you've got your, your outline for that, that's a little rubber sort of seal. And then that square just goes like that and it's, you can feel the resistance there. It's got a, a nice tight seal there. So then Obviously the difference between the two sumps, this one's got the baffles, I think it's slightly shallower, uh, slightly deeper as well, sorry. Um, it does look slightly different on the on this side. Um, but yeah, so you've got, your, you've got your baffle there. Again, I think it's slightly deeper there. You've not got that, I uh, don't know if that cutouts for or anything. I'm sure we'll find out later on. But yeah, so you've got, those are your differences between the two. You've got a great big void in this one where the oil can just slosh about. And then this one, it's nice and sealed in there for your oil pickup. So your oil pickup always picks up something in there and it's difficult for the oil to get from there to there. Obviously it will go to there and that's why you've got the second oil pickup. Now the goodies do not stop there. So we've got even more bits. So this, uh, many of you may know how expensive these are. So we have, this bolts in where your oil level sensor goes. And we have a manual dipstick. Which is one thing we're gonna need for checking oil between races. So this part here is vital for the uh, conversion on the 135. Uh, this basically blanks off this part on the oil suction pump, which is additional to how it would have been before. 
so you put that in there, it blanks it off. Now what would have been there before, I'll post a picture up. Is that's the turbo return for the second turbo on the M4. So that comes through the block, uh, but we don't need it because our turbo return is there. If you look, we've got your single turbo return going to that, which marries up to that. So we've only got the single turbo, so we'll blank this off. Uh, this part is mega expensive, it's like 60 quid just for that. But it's needed, that's enough talking about it, let's get it fitted. That's how it all fits together. So you got your shaft there that comes from your main oil pump. So really the main addition is this secondary suction pump. Obviously it's all loose at the minute. Um, we've got to tighten it all down and talk it all up. So the final piece of the puzzle is this dipstick add-on. So it goes from where your oil level sensor would be, comes down there, and then it bolts up, and move that, bolts up to where the throttle body is. And then your dipstick goes in there. And the idea is that the oil level on this will rise in that tube, and then your dipstick probably sits about there and then you can get a, a reading of where your oil is. Right, I'm done. Uh, battery's about to die on camera. Uh, I'm freezing, so I'm gonna go inside and warm up. Hopefully you've seen everything that goes into making the bottom end a little bit more reliable so you don't get that oil starvation issue that so many people have. Uh, there's not really a great deal left for me to do now on the engine. So I'll, we've got a replacement rocker cover, some upgraded uh, coil packs and spark plugs. The car will probably be in the next video because it's back from getting the cage, it's at the paint shop, it's getting painted. Uh, I'll post a picture of the cage, the cage looks awesome. Um, so yeah, so next video, probably be covering that a bit more. But I'll try not to leave it as long this time. I apologize for the length of time it's taken. Obviously we've been waiting for bits. Um, and it's been quite cold as well and I've been poorly so <laughs> um, so yeah I'll see you guys next time if you did like the video and you want to see more stuff on this please remember to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel